get to a certain extent I still think we had some good opportunities but yeah we, we, we could have had so many more we just wasted uh, some of our good play with um, you know similar to the other games where we just haven't really had that sort of conviction in the front third to you know take advantage of whether that's us winning the ball back or getting into that front third and nothing coming of it so um, and you know you kind of keep game keep opposition teams in the game when you do that Yes, yeah, like I said, we uh, we handled them well for the, for the most part, but we switched off for one, and we pay a price, and that's what happens. Like I said, it's uh, it's always going to be a tight game, fine margins in in these kind of games, and um, you know they they took their key moment, and we didn't. Today, I thought we handled them. You know, they're obviously a very big threat from set pieces, and uh, but you know, it only takes one. And um, yeah, like it wasn't just Romero, but a couple of others switched off as well. And um, you know, the delivery was spot on. And um, you know, Gabrielle's a, always a threat in those situations. So um, you know, we paid a price for it. Yeah, I thought Dom worked hard, but, you know, obviously he hasn't played for over a month um, on his second game of the year. So I just thought there was a lot of odd times where, you know, if we just had a, a bit more, uh, like I said, belief, conviction in that front third that, you know, we could have made so much more of, of our play to create really good opportunities. And, and even the ones we did, you know, we didn't, again, like I said, we lacked some real conviction in our execution to really make the most of them. Mm. Oh, I've just got to keep working at it, mate. That's my job. I've just got to keep, um, you know, giving the feedback to the guys, trying to guide them in the right way to, to, to you know, make them see that, you know, for all, for all our dominance in the game, you need to really be, you know, clear-headed in those kind of moments. And um, that's my role to, to try and, Guide them uh, in the right way. Look, I, I know. I know. I know. Look, I know. I, 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 for some reason, people think I don't care about set pieces, and it's a narrative that you can keep going on for ages and ages. I understand that. Like I said, we work on them all the time, like we do with every other team. You know that they're a threat. As I said, for the most part, we handled them really well today, but we switched off for one and we paid a price. And you learn from that and you move on. But um, it is what it is, mate. You know, it's like, it's my burden to carry, mate, and I'm happy to do that. It's not, like like I've always said, for me, there's a bigger picture that's a play here that's much more important than, um, you know, the, the finer details of us getting to where we want to. And, um, you know, for us, the way forward is to, as I said, try and turn the, the football we're playing into now into something meaningful. Um, yeah, I don't know, to, to, to a certain extent. Um, look, we're, we're, we're a team that's you know, I think progressing in many areas and, and with all that sort of progress, there's always kind of new challenges and, and new things that you need to overcome. And um, as I said, when I look at the four games in isolation this year, our football's probably been more consistent and, you know, more compelling than it was their first four games last year. But, you know, the, obviously the results um, don't reflect that. And, um, so I, I think we've we've made progress in certain areas, but there's other areas. Like I said, we still need to, you know, um, improve on, and that's that's my job to kind of fill those gaps as quickly as possible. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.